Okay, good evening, everyone. Continuing with the three minutes of Tehillim we are actually up to now, Perek Nun, Psalm 50, which is a, uh, a benchmark that we've reached one-third through Sefer Tehillim, which is a great accomplishment, as Sefer Tehillim is the longest Sefer in all of Tanakh. So we are now one-third of the way through. So this uh, Perek begins, Mizmar Asaf Kel Elokim Hashem, Diber Vikra Aretz, Mimizrach Shemesh Amavo, that a psalm for Asaf, Asaf is known as uh, one of the Mishorim in, uh, of David HaMelech, one of the sing-songers or the song-singers, whichever you prefer. If you look at Nehemiah, Perik Yud Bey's Pasuk Memvav, it lists him as the Rosh HaMishorim. He was the head of the ones who sang for David HaMelech. And the theme of the Perik is, it talks about revelation in the beginning, revelation uh, emanating from Sion. And the second part of the Perik refers specifically to uh, the fact that people misunderstand the purpose for karbanos. People misunderstand the purpose of sacrifice, and they think that God, maybe he's hungry, maybe he's, he des- you know, desires kavod or honor or something. And Hashem says, no, it's not about uh, I don't need your bulls or your he goats. And he says that uh, it's not that I'm um, if I was hungry, I would not tell you for the world is mine and all that it holds inside. And then later on, the last part of the, of the parak talks about uh, the hip- uh, hypocritical false prophets that go around preaching things that they don't uh, practice. And they go and he says that uh, Russia goes and u- uses Hashem's messages. And he goes and says, uh, Hashem says, like, what are you use- utilizing my own uh, edicts, but you don't live by them? He says, so you hate rebuke. And you throw my words behind you, but for some reason, in in uh, in public, you're saying this. You should do this ethical thing, or people make a mistake and they're quoting psukim, but in their own private lives, they live uh, like uh, he says, ganavim. They steal things and they are a part of people who are committing adultery, different sins in private, but in public, they put on a good show. It's now that I'm doing Tehillim, so I try to find different things that strike my eye. This is a new Tehillim that I recently got, the Koran Tehillim with a commentary by Rabbi Tzvi Hirsch Weinreb. And he has a always something interesting to say, but in this parak, a very interesting historical anecdote. He says that uh, Rabbi Yaakov of Lisa, in the 19th century, um, he heard about a problem in his community. What was the problem? That members of his own community were going to hear the local Christian clergy sermonize. And he found out about this, and they told him, Rabbi, he speaks much more to our hearts. You know, okay, he's not Jewish, but we can, uh, we can just take his ethical universal messages, and we can ignore the other content. And uh, needless to say, this, got, this is a rabbi very upset. And it was interesting because someone just this Friday was telling me that a very prominent modern Orthodox community, he told me, I don't know how he knows this, but someone from our community was tell- talking about some other community that people were watching these one of these mega church, uh, you know, sermons on, on Sundays, and they were going re- listening or zooming in religiously. So it just it just happened to someone tell me that on Friday, and now I see this happen also in the 19th century. They had those problems, but now you can just sit it, watch it from the comfort of your own house. Back then, you actually had to go. So the rabbi found out about this, and he invoked these psukim in our parak, and he said to to the people like that you're being seduced, you're being uh, duped by these people who are not ethical and they're just trying to sermonize you and trying to, uh, you know, uh, say beautiful things that sound good, but really it's hollow on the inside. And at the end of the, the parak, just to finish with this, it says, Zevach todoyich yichabedonuni derech elokim. That Hashem says, I'm not interested in the, in the service of sacrifice per se, but I want your heart, I want, it's, Hashem says, if you place uh, Hashem, or you place His way in front of you, then I will show you salvation. And it's important that when people look for religious leaders, which is Rabbi Yaakov Lisa was telling his community that these preachers were, were phonies, it's important to look for a religious leader who you feel is placing God in his own, not only in the public life, but also in his own private life, placing God as his number one priority.